Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, says it has completed the Deep Blue project aimed at tackling insecurity within the country's maritime corridors. Director General NIMASA, Bashir Jamo, made this known as the agency received the special mission aircraft at the Air Force Air Wing Ikeja. Jacinta Obuku was there and now reports. The Nemasa boss arrives at the Air Force Air Wing of the local airport Ikeja with his team. He awaits the about to be celebrated project. Minutes later, the much awaited special mission aircraft of the Deep Blue Project, otherwise known as the Integrated National Security and Waterways Protection Infrastructure, is received and inspected by Nemasa. After the inspection comes the unveiling of the aircraft. Bashir Jamo expresses excitement over the completion of the project. So far so good. This is the last piece, is it? This is my happiest moment in this my assignment. When we came in, the assignment given to us by the Honorable Minister at the inauguration of the board was one assignment. Go and make sure that you complete the Deep Blue project. And today we are here to receive the final piece for this project. I am given four year term in less than 13 months we have completed the task. So we'll go back to our principal and ask for another task. The menace of maritime insecurity is an age-long challenge in the industry, hence the timeliness of the special aircraft. October we had 10 attacks within our exclusive economic zones. In January we recorded only one. February we recorded zero. March we recorded one. We are yet to record in April. And the remaining, is, the remaining is going to be unveiled during the commissioning on 21st of this month. We are now taking Nigeria to another level in the international community. We are changing the narratives as far as the issue of maritime domain is concerned. The high-tech assets under the Deep Blue project will not only deal with piracy and armed robbery in the territorial waters frontally, but also respond to the increasing sophistication of maritime crimes, exclusive economic zone up to the Gulf of Guinea. Jacinta Ubuku reporting for PLOS TV Africa. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.